national grid has forcefully shut down for over 140 times since the federal government privatized the power sector. There has been an increase in the cost of production and doing business in Nigeria, which can be majorly attributed to epileptic power supply. On the conversation today, we'll ask some Nigerians how unstable power supply has affected them and their businesses. I'm Abdullah Salaudi. How has unstable power supply affect you and your business? Well, I'm a graphic designer though, but in Shomolu here, yeah. let's just say the other of the days, it just gets fuel. If you want to move your business forward, just if you want to move your business forward, just have fuel. For example, now, for let's say three years now, every December, um, our power, this, what do you call it, transformer. There's no time we will not at least repair it once or the other. Every December it's only de developing faults. So that's why I'm in Shomoli here. And which is on how I put it, it's a shame that a whole big hub of printing in the whole of let me say Nigeria, yes, is the hub of printing in Nigeria. We are still having this kind of um how would I put it challenge. It's just too bad though. But What's your view about unstable power supply in the country right now? If you really want me to tell you my mind, just because of that single reason, I would prefer to relocate to Ghana than stay in Nigeria. Why, Ma? Light is everything. Even people that are in the business, if you don't have light, what are we talking about? Do you know how much profit am I going to make that I have to incur so much on diesel and, 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 and fuel? To, to be in operation, to be in the in business, it doesn't really make sense. I really don't know why people are still in Nigeria anyway, honestly. I really don't know why we are staying here. If you don't stay here in Nigeria, where will you stay? I'll put, I don't mind Ghana. Is that bad? If I don't have access to go to US, I would rather go to Ghana because of Nepal, because of electricity. And I'm okay with it because I can run my, I cannot run my business without incurring more. Uh, when you are Talking in terms of the power supply, then we should, it, it has to be relative to what it used to be compared to what it is now. In my area, for now, I think it has improved relatively, that is compared to what it used to be. So, but uh, the major issue still is still that when the, the, the supply is getting off or is going off, we are usually not informed. Is you say it, you say it, you don't say it, you don't say it. You understand? So, so, and I believe too that maybe in this area, major, majorly, people are on the prepaid meter. And you know, prepaid meter is such is designed such that once there is no light, the meter will not read. As a result, you know, it's automatic, automatic loss to them. Well, um, in the side of uh, power supply, uh, it's very, very down because I remember during Jonathan time. It's fair by then. So, but now, it's very, very low, to be sincere. To be sincere. And the charges is too much. That's an, another issue. That's another issue. The charges is too much. Let me tell you the truth. The charges is getting higher than the house, house rent, to be sincere. So, I don't know. I don't know two hours, you see. Come on, you know, three hours. Kilofa, I don't know. Yanina, Ili, I don't go back for Gazi. What's your view about unstable power supply in the country, sir? Okay, my name is Michael. Uh, what I can say about it is it's far more better than before because now, at least compared to the COVID 19 period, there is always eat. There is we we we, can, we don't have light to to do our daily activities. But now, it's better compared to what we have before. So so that's my view on. Stable. Unstable power supply. Unstable power supply. I all of far. Unstable power supply in Nigeria. In fact, co, co, in fact, ba fitre la koko tonle. How has affected you or your business? It's affected a lot of business, especially those that are using it for uh, maybe frozen food and the likes. So if there is no much light or the light is not enough, the time they bring the goods, it will really affect it. And once the, this thing is down, 
Anybody that is buying market and sees that there is no light, there, even if you are telling them you use generator, they won't believe you. So it makes the 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 um, the sales to call to go down. So when the sales is down, what's the pride? And it does not stop NEPA from cutting light, especially those that are not using prepaid now. They are paying with their nose. What would you like government to do? Government? Well, I don't think it belongs to the government again. I just feel, let them give it to the um, private sector. Maybe they will do something. Because I feel most of the things that the government are doing, they don't used to put things in place to make it work over time. So let them just give it to a private sector. Because if it's, we should be paying, we will pay. So how, do you, how do you think it can be improved if it is given by the private sector? The thing is, once you give it to a private sector, they will take it serious. And even though they want to be charging us, normally we will not use lights. We will not use lights. And they will still come, giving us one ridiculous bill. Let us know that, okay, if it's a private sector, we are seeing the light and we are paying. It's okay. Uh -uh. Shall we are paying for what we are using? Not that we come and pay for what we are not using. What do you think the government should do to this? Government? Are we in any government right now? Well, if we are, if we are in government, that I think they should have reset their brain you because have the resources to put out the resources here yeah, but the resources being channeled to another thing to another set of people okay. i really don't want to talk much but unless if i have the opportunity i don't know why i'm still here so how can electricity supply be improved in nigeria of course we have end users and we have what we call uh, the uh, generation so you understand that is where the electricity is generated so by now they should know what the quantity of electricity is being consumed relative to compared to what they are generating definitely somewhere somewhere is still deficient in other words the generation is still less than the consumption yes for now they know what to do if they want to fix it they know what to do they have to put the right person that that will be take will be in charge of that nepa everything will go normally then it is on their hand they know what to do we have engineers, good engineers. Forget about the tribe, where the person comes from. If they choose the right person, if they choose the right person without looking the region that that person comes from, it will be okay. It will be okay. That's, that's my concern about it. Well, about it. Well, to my own opinion, um, first and foremost, the purpose of uh, light is to give power to the to the people. You understand? First and foremost, it promotes um, people's business, the likes of the entrepreneurs, the the market, the the market women and. And, you know, but but then, how they could improve? That that's the question. But okay, all right, I would say they can invite um, professionals, you know, to the country to to help in sort one or two things. Yeah. Uh, governments will make every possibility to improve their power now because now it's getting worse, and we pray the the whole place will not collapse on uh, unexpectedly. Nigeria is known around the world for natural resources and endowments, but there is need for the government to rise up to their responsibilities for us to have a strong and stable power supply in the country. I'm Abdullah Salahuddin from Africa TV.